Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Jonah chapter three, verses one and two. They read as follows. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Have you ever blown it? Of course you have. <laughs> we all have. I most certainly have. I have blown it in big, big, huge ways and very small, minute ways. We have all blown it, but you know what? God loves us still the same. God knew we were gonna blow it before we blew it, before we knew we were gonna blow it. And he loves us so much that he will even go as far as to make provisions for us before we blow it so that he can help us do the right thing. In our passage today, we read the story of Jonah and Jonah blows it, by the way. Jonah, a prophet of God, is told by God to go to the great city of Nineveh and preach a message, a warning message to it of repentance because the wickedness of Nineveh has come up before the Lord. And Jonah refuses. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go and preach God's message to them because he doesn't think they deserve it. He knows that if he goes and preaches God's message to the people of Nineveh, they will repent, God will forgive them, and Jonah doesn't think they deserve it. He believes that God wants to give the people of Nineveh a second chance, but he doesn't believe they deserve that second chance, so he goes in the exact opposite direction of what the Lord told him. He suffers greatly for it, repents, tells God that he will do what God has asked him to do, fulfills his vow to the Lord, and turns the other way, goes and does what the Lord commands him to do. And what happens? God gives Jonah a second chance. And funny thing is, I think that's the same second chance that Jonah didn't believe the people of Nineveh deserved. I think Jonah is just a bit self-righteous, if I'm gonna be honest, but I don't judge him because we have all been self-righteous at one point. We see someone doing something and think, I would never do that. I would never think that. I would never go there. I can't believe they're doing that or saying that or acting that way. We might even go as far as to think, Lord, it's not fair that you were having mercy on that person when they themselves got themselves into that mess. No, they deserve what they have sown. They should reap what they've sown. They deserve to suffer. They deserve what they are reaping because of what they've sown. I remember having such an attitude about someone who did mess up pretty bad, pretty greatly. And I remember thinking, Lord, really? It seems like you're blessing them and that doesn't seem right. They did mess up. They do deserve to reap what they've sown. But then God quickly and very lovingly and gently brought back to my remembrance a time where I had really blown it and I had some friends who judged me. In that situation, God had mercy on me and got me out of that mess. And those same friends thought it wasn't fair that I had gotten this blessing, that God was helping me and favoring me when I was the one who gotten myself into that mess. They thought they had been living right and so it wasn't fair that I got this blessing and they didn't. And I remember just how hurtful it was that they had judged me in such a way when honestly, I was just naive about the situation. I didn't know any better. Yes, I got myself into it, but it was really naivety. And then I thought about, you know what? It's probably the same thing with this person that I just judged. It was just sort of naivety on their part. I repented and I asked God to forgive me. We've all heard the saying that God is the God of second chances. And he is gratefully. He is the God of second chances and 10th chances and 100th, 10,000th, 1 million chances. He is the God of another chance. But let's also remember that God is in charge of second chances. And he, in his sovereignty, is the only one, honestly, who knows who deserves a second chance and who doesn't deserve a second chance. And because he's God and we're not, He's the only one who has the right to give them and we shouldn't say anything about it. So instead of judging others and thinking that they should reap what they sow, they deserve to get what they've given, let's join God's side and instead show them unconditional love, show them the love of Jesus Christ and that he is the God of second chances. And don't worry, God is not mocked, people do reap what they sow, but God is also the God of mercy and compassion. He is slow to get angry. 
He abounds in love and faithfulness. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, please forgive us when we've been self-righteous, when we have judged others, Lord, and think that they deserve to get something for what they've given, when we are really only looking at a partial aspect of a situation, God, and not the whole thing like you do, God. Help us to love instead, to show kindness and mercy and forgiveness just as you do, God, to be unconditionally loving towards people, God in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. You guys have an amazing day. God bless you. God loves you so much. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.